you know, kids are going to eat what kids want to eat. And if it's junk food, it's junk food. If it's not, it's not. I think we offer a nutritious meal. And I think the quality is there when it's made properly. Uh, uh, they would tell you that when Open began, that they, they felt that the quality of food was there, but they feel like it is declining uh, as time passed. OPA representatives, along with District Nutrition Service employees, met with school board members to discuss concerns and possible solutions in the current food program. Besides being told to serve overheated fruit, a major discussion was about the hamburger the kitchens in the district are using. And I'm no expert, but I know that if you're serving meat that smells bad, that's a problem. That's a warning sign. And they, and they, and they shared that with OPA and they said it's fine. Um, there's been concerns even about the supplier of this of this meat that they've had a history of contamination. I know they don't like that filler piece in there, so I said, okay, we're not going to use this beef anymore. Uh, I just called our purchasing director today and said, listen, I, I'm not. This is stupid to fight over. We're just not going to use it. I don't care if the other stuff's more expensive. And this is what is used across the country. I, I don't care. You know, this is a dumb one to fall on your sword over. So. While several issues were brought to light, those in charge of the inquiry still voiced concern. I wish I'd had more than two weeks, really, to, to do this work. Um, I, I will, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to shout it from the rooftops, that these ladies cared deeply 